What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Clean and Green Lawn and Drywall Services. Wait a minute. Drywall? Yeah, man. Got to put up a piece of drywall today. Uh, a lot of you that watch the channel, you know that uh, I do different things in the uh, off-season. And uh, I'm here, obviously, at the church today. I'm here in the pastor's cave. I need to clean this thing up. But... I got another project that uh, I'm going to be working on today and uh, probably going to show you some of that. I don't think I have everything here that I need um, to do that right now. But uh, anyway, i tell you what we'll do if I can find my keys. Let's take the walk back here and I'm going to show you what we got going on. <clears throat> Man, the heat's on in here. That's good. I think I did a video over a year ago. We started a project and then COVID hit and uh, we just kind of got off track. We haven't needed this area uh, since we started back. Like TV still on. But uh, we were doing a new nursery. Uh, the current nursery that we have just was not, uh, really just wasn't big enough. So here's what we got. This used to be two classrooms. Um, this was a classroom. Look, still some prayer requests up there. But uh, this was one classroom. This was another classroom over here on this side. So we cut out this wall. Uh, we're gonna put a sliding door there. I'm trying to make it where these little ones won't pinch their fingers for something swinging and the space it takes up. So that's gonna be like a, almost like a pocket door, but a short one. Um, <clears throat> And so we'll put the babies on one side, put them over here, put more of the toddlers over here on the other side. Um, and you can see we've obviously done some drywall work where we had to take the chair rail down, we had to move light switches. We just got a lot of different stuff we've done there. And we're gonna put safety, I got safety plates to go on these that lock because the way the wires run, it wasn't, uh, it would have been a lot of work to move them up high. So. Anyway, that's what we're going to do there. But we're going to case all of this out. We're going to case these out. We're going to case this out. We're going to cap all this and case it out. Uh, the problem I run into when I brought the dry, and I'm sorry, there's probably a terrible echo in here. But when, I, when the drywall guy come, I did not have him wrap this. Because we were going to wrap it with... Uh, wood the problem is there's no good way to finish it here and that's what we got to looking at actually we got a guy in the church that does trim work and he said man he said brother i don't know any way that's going to make that look good that transition now had we had it the same height uh we could have but with it being offset so i got a piece of sheetrock here got another one over there got some corner bead down there in the floor uh, so I'm gonna slap a couple of pieces of sheetrock up here, put some corner bead on it. And I don't think I have any sheetrock mud. Nope. So I'm gonna have to go to town and get some sheetrock mud, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and put this sheetrock up and get the, uh, get the edge put on it. And then I'll run to town and get some mud, slap a coat of mud on it, let that dry, come back in the morning, knock that down, and, and put a bigger, uh, you know, put a wider uh, coat on it. So that's what I got going on today. And I'm going to probably just record this and kind of put it in a fast forward uh, and let you check it out. All right, we just want to make sure all of this is flush.
If you've never seen corner bead, you can tape these corners. Uh, this corner bead, you're probably gonna be able to see this, but it's got a little lip on both sides. And what that does, now I got screws. What I need to put in this is nails. I don't have any nails here, so I'm gonna pick up a box of nails because the nails just set much flatter. I'm gonna tack it up with this. But that little recess, your knife will run down that and it'll give you a good bead of uh, drywall mud and cover all that up. And it makes a nice stiff corner if somebody ever bumps it, it's hard. Uh, you know, if somebody totes something in here, a ladder, and they bump into it. I'm gonna pin it up here just with a couple of screws. So here's what we have now. We got the corner bead. And again, I got to nail that down. Uh, just to kind of show you. You see that? Well, that's not a very straight edge, but. Let me get you something with a straight edge. Kind of show you what this corner bead creates. Those lips on there, see how that creates a recess in there? So that'll cover up all the screws when you trial it off. And it's the same thing over here. See how we got that? You got a gap there. So when we trial to this and we'll trial back out, you know, up to here. But we got to get it all nailed down. Got to get it nailed down on there, get it muddy good. Uh, we'll tape this little small joint right here, uh, and that'll be pretty simple. So, uh, I got that. I'm gonna have to run to town now. I wish I had some mud here. I got some tape at the house, but I don't have any mud, so. And I'm trying to think if I have any here anywhere, because I've done, we've done so many projects here, there's got to be some laying around somewhere. Don't mind buying some. It's just the fact of uh, having to go to town to do it. It's relatively inexpensive. But anyway, I'll see if I can find some. If I can't, then we'll go to town. And when we come back, uh, I'll tune back in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And we have us a little bucket here, all purpose, almost a gallon, 3.5 quarts. Probably used to be a gallon, and to keep the price the same, you can go down in size. I really don't know. But anyway, also got me some nails. Already got this nailed in. I'm gonna pop them screws back out. I'll have to tape, tape that. And uh, we're gonna mud all this up. So let me get uh, Everything going here, everything out and ready, and then I will set y'all up and let you see me make a mess. Let's get some mud.
All right, that's just kind of a little, uh, almost a skim coat over it. It's not super thick, like right there, you can still see the uh, bead molding uh, a little bit. Um, and I may actually need to pop a couple of more nails. Yeah, I do because that's hanging a little bit. So uh, I haven't done the back side yet. Front side looks pretty good. Now we'll come across after this dries, those little things on the edge, they'll knock off real easy with a piece of sandpaper. Uh, we'll come across there and knock that off. And then we'll put a wider uh, bed of mud on there to feather it out. So I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's gonna be the same as this side and it's gonna be hard to get a camera angle in there. All right, we got mud on both sides now. Like I said, all those little things there, they'll knock right off. Those little things, they'll knock right off that metal. We'll hit in with a little sander. Uh, we'll come back, we'll let that dry. I'll probably have to let, I don't know, the temperature is kind of uh, cool today, so I'll probably have to let that dry overnight and uh, come back and skim it out good again tomorrow and then let it dry Wednesday. It's Monday here, Wednesday do a a final sand on it should be in pretty good shape by then uh, for what we're trying to accomplish there and uh, so that should take care of it in a few days we'll be ready uh, slap some paint on it well, we're gonna do all our trimming and stuff first all right I got to go clean up my knife now and uh, I'll probably uh, I'll probably just close the video here and when I come back and sand everything out and get it finished uh, I'll kind of I'll kind of take you through that uh, part of the process too. So, hey, appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Uh, my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.